It could get messy for messy today, right? Yes. Uh, see what you did there. I see nice. what I did, yeah. Uh, Croatia already beat Nigeria 2-0. Croatia is tricky at best. And if he loses it, Ronaldo's already off to a Michael Jordan-esque kind of yes. a start yes. right in the World Cup. So the pressure is mounting furiously on Messi, and I'm not sure they can get past Croatia. The thing is, Skip, they need three points. They can't tie. They're not going to advance if they get a tie. Definitely not advancing if they lose. Yep. So they, they go back, people go back and forth. Messi's the best, Ronaldo's the best. Yep. Well, okay, we've seen what Ronaldo's done in the first two games. Messi, it's time for you to play. Mm -hmm. They say, well, he's more of a playmaker. Okay, make some plays. Mm. Whether you assist the ball or you put the ball in the net. Mm. But your country is counting on you. Skip, he's a better player than Diego Maradona. But he'll never get the praise of Maradona until he brings that World Cup. Mm. Because that's what Maradona did in 86. Mm. So, however you want it. Divide it up how you want to. Well, Messi's better than this. All I know is Ronaldo got four goals. Mm. And his team has four points. Mm. Mm. All right, no pressure there. It does there. sound sort of, sort of like Jordan versus LeBron, right? No, see, there you go. Skip. Well, it does. It's, it's exactly like this. Every Shea Carter's just like that. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. You knew he was going to do that. He, he always he tried to undercut that. Bron. Mm, it's okay. Every opportunity. He needs it. We're going to move on to the NBA now. Charlotte Hornets agreed to trade Dwight Howard to the Nets yesterday. Now, he averaged about 16 points and 12 boards last season. But the Charlotte Observer reports... Dwight frustrated teammates by not running the plays that were called. Former NBA player and current analyst Brendan Haywood, shout out to the Tar Heels, he gave one of his own reasons for the trade. Take a listen. The locker room hated Dwight Howard. I'm not sure if Charlotte is rebuilding or if they're just trying to get Dwight Howard out of there, but it was clear the locker room did not like Dwight Howard, and it's simply because of how he goes about his business day to day in that locker room. He's not the guy that's running around slapping people in the face but hard to deal with, doesn't accept responsibility, cries a lot, has bad tendencies, awful body language. And so all these things contribute to why he was shipped out of Charlotte. The people right. I talked to behind the scenes, it was like, guys were just sick and tired of his act. Mm. Sean, mm. words there. Shannon Sharp, are you surprised to hear that about Dwight Howard? If I'm a little surprised because he, he, he strikes you as a guy that's fun-loving, that have, likes, likes to have fun, and maybe that's the problem. Mm. Maybe he's going places where guys are serious and they want to win. And that key, key, key in and all them hook shots and the backpack and all that other stuff that he's been doing, Skip. You're, you're talking about hook shots from half, from court, half court and warm-ups. Or jacket up yeah. threes. Yeah. And when they told him, say, Dwight, mm -hmm. we want you to stop shooting so many threes. He said, yeah. well, guess what? I'm going to shoot some more tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Skip, this guy, talent for talent, I believe only Wilt Chamberlain had more God-given ability than Dwight Howard. Skip, look how he's, he's built like a Greek god. Caps on the shoulders. He could run. He could jump out the building. But he never expanded his game. So now he's archaic. Because all the bigs now, what can they do, Skip? They can shoot the three. Boy, Howard's not shooting no three with any consistency. And when he does, he's just jacking it up having fun. Skip, Dennis Schroeder, who was his teammate mm -hmm. in Atlanta, yep. this is what he said after the White Howard had monster games. The Charlotte, when we played with Charlotte, had a monster game against them. He said he plays great against he plays great. He always played great against his former team, said Schroeder. Credit him for that. But that's like four games a year, you know? Houston, LA, us, I think. It's always giving his best. But the other games? Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Dwight Howard's career has never been the same since the awkward encounter that he had with Stan Van Gundy. He wanted out of Orlando, then he opts in. And then he says, I got the lead. He goes to LA and Kobe is about winning. Kobe ain't about that friendly, mm -hmm. ain't that key, key, kid, nope. all that bull jiving. Nope. He goes to Houston. Oh, this is me and James Harden team. Mm -hmm. We about to do this. Harden said, nah, y'all got to get him up out of here. That is He correct. goes home to Atlanta. Skip, yeah. everybody should be able to go home. Home. Dorothy said, Dorothy wanted to get home. She wanted to get back to Kansas. Dude, you from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. They said, nah, you got to get up out of here. That is correct. Skip. On this man's resume, he got traded for Timothy Mosgoff. He did. Dwight Howard is going to be a slam dunk first ballot Hall of Famer, three-time defensive player of the year. He's been all NBA, 16 and 12 and a half this year, Skip. And teams can't wait to get rid of – think about this, Skip. They got rid of Dwight Howard, who only has one more year on his contract at about $24, 25000000 million, to take on Timothy Mosgoff, who has two years at about $35 million. Mm -hmm. 
but they wanted to get rid of the $24 million that Dwight's scheduled to make next year. They wanted to get rid of Dwight if he was making $5. That is correct. They said, you got to get the hell up out of here. That's what they wanted. So, <laughs> unlike you, I'm not surprised at all by this. I thought you liked him. I don't like Dwight. Oh. Dwight knows exactly how I feel about Dwight. I like him personally. Okay. I like being around Dwight off the court. Oh, you don't like He's his fun. game? I don't like his game. And he knows how I feel about his game. Okay. And we have had it out face-to-face -face about his game or lack thereof. Okay. He never figured out any kind of even low post game in the fourth quarter. So he's an offensive liability in every fourth quarter because we know he's had trouble from the free throw line. So you can hack a Dwight. Right. And the rest of the time, he is so happy-go-lucky that he could not care less about winning or losing. He just, he, he's made $210 million in his 14 years. That's a lot of money. Yeah. And it's all on potential to me. It's all on the look of Greek God. Mm -hmm. but, but remember, he's not seven feet, four inches tall. He's about six, he's really about 6'10", but they, they list him at 6'11", mm -hmm. but, but he's not dominating in height or length. Mm -hmm. But the shoulders, I've never seen better shoulders no. on a big man. Mm -hmm. And to your point, he can defend when he feels like it yeah. against certain teams, and he can be a defensive player of the year. But I am so disappointed in Michael Jeffrey Jordan, the guy I always defend as the greatest performer, not just in basketball, but in any sport ever, has become and continues to be the worst GM in basketball history. He knows in history. basketball, but he sure can't pick no talent. He can't pick no talent. That's, th this is, and this is your Charlotte. I know, team. I'm yeah. like sitting over here. And like, I'm sorry because. I'm totally in my feelings, y'all. Okay. Go ahead, though. He, he's obviously iconic and beloved yes. in, in North Carolina, but I feel for the, the Charlotte fans because they're just trapped, man, because you're, you're trapped in the, the iconicness of Michael Jordan because this team has now made the playoffs three times in 12 years. Three times in 12 years and twice in the playoffs it got swept and once it went to game seven and lost to the Miami Heat without LeBron after right. LeBron had gone home. Right. So that means in the playoffs, you're three and 12 under Michael Jordan mm -hmm. in the time he sort of run the basketball operation and only three playoffs in the Eastern Conference in 12, in the Eastern Conference, and you took Dwight Howard's contract, which Atlanta had given him three years, $70 million, so it was $24 million last year that you paid for this, and you had to know this has been his act everywhere he's been. The team never likes him because he doesn't take basketball very seriously. No. And when things go south, not that they went that south in Orlando because they had their runs, they had a couple runs to the, one to the finals right. and went to, and twice to the conference finals, once it went south in L.A., he's, he's out, man. Once it goes south in Houston, don't, don't look at me. Don't blame me. He's a finger pointer. And, and I love the point that Haywood made about he's got that body, but he won't use it to set screens. So, so he's not going to give up the body for the team. Right. You know, so the, the body language is always bad because he just doesn't care yeah. enough nope. about he, he got his money. It's guaranteed. Skip, he, he's never had the success since he left Orlando, but what did they do in Orlando? They surrounded him with shooters. A he, bunch of shooters. And so now, okay, what you gonna do? Mm -hmm. You gonna guard the three-point yep. line or you gonna let me punish your big one-on-one? Mm -hmm. -on -one? Yep. Well, they wanted to guard the three-point line, he was punishing them down low. Mm -hmm. He killed Cleveland. I mean, he had like a couple of 40-point games. They couldn't do anything with him. And then when you start, all of a sudden, you pack down on him, mm -hmm. those three-point, Rashard Lewis, and he do Turkaloo, and then had the guy from uh, uh, France, I forget his name. Beatrice. Yeah, Pe yeah, yeah Beatrice. Mm -hmm. And so, but Skip, if you think about it, Kobe said, well, I was trying to show Dwight because he thinks that, you know, everything is happy-go-lucky, and that's not really the, the, the style that you need to win a championship. But Dwight Howard says, Allah, I might not have won one, but this style did get me to the NBA Finals. Mm -hmm. So he says, my style does work for me. But here's the thing, Dwight, at some point in time, over these last five years, I know be it a hotel room or your home, mm -hmm. you had to walk by a mirror. And when you walk by, okay, you go from Orlando to L.A. to Houston to Atlanta to Charlotte, now to Brooklyn. When you walk by the mirror, the one common denominator is not those franchises, it's the guy passing the mirror. The guy who's now been on four teams in four years? Mm, interesting.
Think about that. Yeah. Dwight Howard was the number one overall pick, mm -hmm. an all NBA player, yeah. three mm -hmm. times defensive mm -hmm. player of the year. Mm -hmm. And he got on his resume, well, he got traded for Timothy Mosgoff. He did. I don't know what Mitch Kupchak thinking. Mm -hmm. That's what got him fired up out of LA. Mm -hmm. Giving uh, 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 Timothy Mosgoff and Lou Aldang those bull jive contract skip, and Michael Jordan hires him and he brings him Timothy. I might have traded Dwight Howard, but I ain't taking on Timothy Mosgoff. Mm. So he put up decent numbers last year. Really the best in four years. 17 and 13. Yeah. Credible. The rebounds are Had very a couple credible. 2020 games. Yeah. And Charlotte finished 36 and 46 in the Eastern Conference. It won't work. It won't work. So Brooklyn's just waiting for 20, what, 2020, you know, for basically just to get rid of this the the salary dump. Million. Yeah. yeah. It's a salary dump. That's the end of Dwight Howard as we knew and loved him. That's the guy. But, so now and, he, and you know what? The point of this is, to your point, he, it, it's easy for me to say in 2020 hindsight, but he should have just stayed in Orlando. Yeah. I think he would have been yeah, much happier. Said, yeah. That's where he, he flourished there. Small market, big fish in little pond, right? Exactly. Yeah. Skip, stop all that key, mm -hmm. key, key. And mm -hmm. All that smiling. If the ball goes out of bounds, you're smiling. Mm -hmm. You make a foul, uh, uh, you foul somebody, you're smiling. Man, your teammates like, dude, we're out here trying to win a game and you're up here joking. It's not funny. Contrary to what Dwight thinks, a lot of these guys really want to win. Yep. And they don't, They look at your body language. They look at the way you play and the way you practice. They're like, dude, you're not trying to win. You're just having to get that check and get up out of town. Man, we're tired of you. Hey. I know Shannon Sharp well enough to know. Yeah, I'd have a problem if, with him. If effectively he had been on your team, whatever the sport yeah. would have been, you would have had big absolutely. problems. You would have been pulling Dwight aside. Yes, absolutely. Away from you got him. to. Yeah. You got to. You would have read him some riot acts, man. Like, hey. I ain't got no problem pulling the guy aside. Look here, yeah. bro. You need to stop all that laughing. Yeah. You need to stop all the playing cards and playing pool and, and table tennis and getting your playbook. Because you held at table tennis, but you don't know one mm -mm. play. Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I would have done it. Because, mm. yeah, when I have, we'd have had a bunch of problems. And then I'm going to go tell, yeah, look, we're going to have a problem. One of us need to go. Yeah. So this is another guy, to your point. He's going to be in the Basketball Hall of Fame because everybody seems to get in the Basketball Hall of Fame. I'm just not sure he really belongs there Let's on, on his, his basketball numbers. character. I got you. I got you. And <laughs> no. he did get to one finals, and they went out quickly to Kobe's yeah. team in Gasol in five games. But Courtney yeah. Lee was yeah. an alley hoop was. away from winning that game. He was. They win that. Who knows what happened, you know, game one, especially if you get that one on the road. Yep. I uh, mean, you know, yeah, especially on the road. Yeah. Skip, you, you can't be this talented. He now, he and Shaq, number one overall picks that's gone to the most franchises. Mm -hmm. Six. Skip, that's, mm. skip, I mean. Yeah, but Shaq, to, by his own admission, was ring chasing. Dwight's just plummeting. He's just sort of falling from to get, team they, to yeah, team to team. But but Shaq had a had a stretch from what ninety I think ninety two was Shaq's first year. So ninety two until he left the Lakers, Skip, he was as good as he got. Okay. Even his first year in Miami when he was twenty three and ten. Oh, he was good. And then yeah, you know he didn't. Dwight works out. Look at him. He's still in shape. If Shaq had worked out, if Shaq. And, and I told Shaq. That's true. That's the flip side of this guy. Yep. If Shaq mm -hmm. had worked out yep. in the NBA mm -hmm. like he does now, yep. mm. he get two more rings, he gets another MVP, he would have. and we look at him totally different. I He's told you, he, he was the most dominating oh, yeah. offensive force I ever saw. Do no not, not, not pretty to watch. Oh, you couldn't do hard to referee, but you couldn't stop it. You couldn't stop it. Uh -uh. You, you, what you going to do with 7 one, yeah. 325? Because you want to talk about it, he had skill yeah. now. Could break the ball, he could dribble the ball yeah. up the court, put the ball on the floor, spin, Ooh. dunk, shoot the uh, hook over either side. Yeah. But Dwight Howard, they, I'm so disappointed in Dwight Howard with all that God-given ability. Mm -hmm. He didn't apply himself. Dwight Howard left so much on the table, Skip, and that's a shame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just leaving my hornets hanging, I'll tell mm -hmm. you what. Mm -hmm. Next up, though, Madden 19. It won't be released until August. Well, we already know that the Cowboys have the most players in the league. What? With a rating, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Cowboys, the Cowboys? With a rating of at least 90. Uh-oh. Dallas has five players on that list. Zeke Elliott, Sean Lee, and three offensive linemen. Uh -huh. Now, the defending champion, Philadelphia Eagles, are tied for the second most in the league with four players with a 90 or better rating. Shannon Sharp, do you agree mm. with these ratings? Mm. Absolutely not.